Hi my darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Chrissy. I'm so pleased you could stop by. I would love it if you would subscribe before you leave. To my OGs, don't forget to turn your notification bell on so YouTube can tell you every time I upload a new video. Today I'm going to be doing this eye look using a palette from Beauty Bay. It's the Large Berries palette. So if you'd like to see some swatches and see how I'll get on with the palette, please continue to watch. We're going to use the Beauty by Berries palette today to create a look. This is a pink and purple lover's dream. It really is. There's 42 shades of pure Beauty by goodness. So I have swatched them and I'm going to show you them now. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, I think it's 24 four pounds but it will come down when they do sales so if you are thinking about buying it just hold fire and you'll get it for a cheaper price now there is 42 shades so i've had to sort of swatch them smaller than normal but as you can see this is so pretty it is really really gorgeous and those are a few off the, the bottom row but it is for somebody who likes pinks and maybe like as it been as as it states berries berry colours it is absolutely gorgeous the quality as always is fabulous I've primed my eyes I've done my eyebrows we're gonna go right into it let's go get my mirror they have got names and I am gonna I am going to tell you them because this is far too big to put on the screen to actually see where I've um, I've used the colours. This one is called Shake. I'm going to use this one here. Like I said, I'm not going to put the palette up because it's it's going to be far too... I'm going to have to condense it down far too much for you to actually see where I've used. So I'll just use a fluffy brush and I'm just going to go over. way of put the base i should probably just go go all over now there's so many shades to choose from here and the variations you can get you could create hundreds of looks so it's this is a very very pastel color which in fairness it looks like it's in the in the pan too but they are very very true to pan colour so it's just a slight hint of a colour it's just really to make sure everything is smooth on my eyelids How is everybody doing? I was off last week. I don't suppose my daughters or mine, but my two youngest daughters was each in hospital last week. I won't go into detail, but they've both had surgery and that out now. It's crazy. Both opposite ends of the earth to each other and they're both going on the same day with the same suspected problem but they are they're sort of up and about now and recovered really well so that sort of explains where I was last week my headspace was nowhere near good enough to sit and do makeup when my daughters were ill I'm just going to go all out and do the rose colour. It might be a mistake. We don't know, but it is like a cerise colour. I've only got to get the, the lines right now. I've just sort of made an outline 
or play around with these lights. I just want to make a line down towards the corner. This is very rough to start with, it is only an outline. Have some nice colour at the top, only slightly lighter, but I just want to sort of graduate it up. So I'm going to use a soft brush and I'm going to use I'll use the watermelon. There's so much variety in this. So I'm just going to soften the edge up with the watermelon. And then I'll put a lighter one over the top. Just going over the top of it, not underneath. I think I need a smaller brush than this, although this is a small fluffy brush, I haven't got a lot of room on the top, so I think I'm going to need a smaller fluffy brush, so I'll swap it over in a second. That's a little better because I've got more more to work with there or less to work with so I can I can do it gradually I'll try the carnation now this might be a little bit too dark just to sort of finish off the top with. Oh, it's okay. So if you don't like pink looks, you're really not gonna like this one today because it is literally all pinks, unfortunately. And I do apologize. I just haven't done a pink look in ages and this one's been sitting here for a week or so and I think keep on looking at it. I've gone right up to the top with that and I'll just sort of put a little bit of highlighter just at the tip, the arch of my brow. These almost merge into one colour as well. They are very, very close. Nice, nice, nice. I have just slightly put another bit of a cut crease just following where I started the line. Well, just under it actually. I don't want to use a, another layer of base because it will be too thick in the end but just to sort of define where I want to start the other colours. I've got to go with this rose gold colour. This is beautiful. It's called Alba. Oh, my cousin's called Alba in Italy look so pretty so I'm going to put that on the main part of the lid beauty base formula is so beautiful so affordable I'll say this every time I don't know why the higher brands or I don't know if they have the goal to put Prices of 50, 60, 70 pound on the palette. 
the smaller palette and the formula not be as good as the 42 pan for 24 pound oh, I want to do something dark on the outside <coughs> I think I'll go with this one called video so I'm going to put that this side and then I'm going to darken these corners up I'm gonna do um, claret on the side. I probably should have done this earlier. Never mind. Just to darken that sides up. It's actually going over all what I've just done there. I'll just have a play with it later. Just needed something because it wasn't deep enough. light today. Never mind. I've got a slight bit of fallout on this but nothing major. I could actually go a little bit darker on those edges. Okay so I'll try, I'll try, I'll try loyalty. This is just a little bit of a shade darker. I'm using the same brush just right on the corner though this time. in the inner corner on the brow bone I think it's called cloud it is beautiful it's got like white pink lilac reflex in it's gorgeous do you know nothing ever beats my sleek pink highlighter for in a corner. I don't know what it is. If you're wearing pinks, it is just to die for. I just haven't found anything similar. It's much, much different to the rose gold one, obviously, because it's a different base color. Mm, okay, black eyeliner, black wing liner, and black mascara. I've got a black Mitchell liner. Which I really are writing those. So this one is a red or full and it needs sharpening. He's not very far away. I've got the black eyeliner oh, in that front, Mitchell. I'll go off camera to do this because I'm shocking at doing this on camera. Right, I've put a little bit of a wing on and I'm going to use... I've been using this just lately. The um, Coconut Conditioning Mascara from High Art Revolution. It's very fine, but if I want to put lashes on it, it's okay. enough just so I can blend them into the lashes just hope I remember to put them on this time this palette the colors in here are so so pretty
Right now, I am going to clean up. I'm going to put my base on. So, as always, if you want to see me put my base on, carry on watching. If not, just skip forward until I come back to the palace again. I'm going to go back to the palette and let's have a little look at what we're going to Start use. Start with journal. Now I want a bit more pink. So totally disorganised. I'm just going to soften it up with the one I put on first, which is rose. I'm just using what's left on the brush. I'm 
next I'm loving this stiletto it looks so beautiful let me just see if I can put a little bit of that it's like a it is a really really berry shimmer Okay, now I was going to use this this cloud for my inner corner. I did try a little bit, and it wasn't it wasn't what I expected. But I'm going to give it another go. Oh, actually, that's fine now. Now I've sort of gone down into the the pan a little bit. It sort of brightened it up. Sometimes it gets a little bit. So. Uh, dull on the top layer got a bit of bling to it now uh, I think I'm gonna do a spray and um, use the shake and glow from L'Oreal I haven't got a beauty by fixing spray Oh, that's given me a bit of a bit of a sparkle. It's got a very very fine mister on that. So this is the P. Louise Crush Sharpener Bullet Liner, and then I'm going to be using the Matte Balm Liquid Lip from Revolution in Clueless Fuchsia. My darlings that's my finished look for today I've just ended up putting a little bit of a corner lash on just to add a little bit of flutteriness on the sides so if you have enjoyed me playing with the Beauty Bay Berries palette don't forget to leave me a thumbs up that would be amazing and if you haven't already and you do like the look of my channel please consider subscribing I'll be back with you next week so I'd love it if you would join me until then please take care of yourselves and stay safe love you loads Bye.